Thanks everyone for joining the webinar today. I'm Fiona, Marketing Manager for WTM London. Today's seminar will focus on all the crucial planning stages for the show, paying particular attention to the key tasks that will need to be completed before you go on site. I'm also joined today by my colleagues Paul and Nicole from our PR team. The agenda for today's webinar is shown on the screen. We'll start with the exhibitor portal, exhibitor badges and visa applications, then the all-important operational planning, plus online tools including the exhibitor manual, then we'll run through the official suppliers including stand contractors should you need help building your stand. We'll cover the stand plan check system, then we'll move on to catering and Wi-Fi and we'll break for some questions and finish off with top tips and crucial deadlines. The WTM London Exhibitor Portal is the online tool which displays your company's key information and stand number on the website, and it's already live. There's also the option to add products, videos, press releases, and you can also pull reports to track how many profile views you've received, as well as access leads and messages received from buyers and visitors. Sharer registration is also live already. New for 2016, the ability to copy sharer details from last year. Main stand holders can search for a sharer listed in 2015, then rather than having to upload all the sharer information again, the profile from last year will be copied. This can of course be edited and updated. You should have received your login details for the portal by automated email. If you haven't received this, please contact our customer services team at wtm.helpline at readexpo.co.uk. Visas can take up to 30 days to process so it's important you register all your staff as early as possible to give them enough time to apply for a visa if it's needed. Remember, if your plans change, you can always reissue the badge to another member of staff at a later date, as long as the badge has not been downloaded or printed. Planning this in advance will avoid disappointment. Some of you may already know this, but WTM London can help exhibitors with their visa applications by generating a visa support letter. All of this can be accessed via the exhibitor portal. Whoever is looking after the badging for your company will be able to generate a letter of support which can be sent directly to the individual applying for a visa through the badging system. Please remember all information submitted is secure with us. When registering badge names, please ensure names are spelt correctly and you're always entering an individual email address. The visa support letter will be sent to this email address so it needs to be accurate. If you need help during this process, please contact our customer services team who will be happy to help you. I'll now pass you over to Paul. Thanks, Fiona. Hello, everyone. So I will be taking you through the key operational details for WTM London. You can see on the screen you have the two email addresses, the first for operations and the second for customer services. Now, we would endeavour to get back to you as soon as we possibly can, but we would ask for your patience, as in peak times, we will be dealing with a large number of queries. So the operations email address is obviously for the operations team, whereas the customer services team will pick up any non-technical questions. And they're on the hand to help and, and can be contacted on the email address shown. So you can see on your screen the areas that my colleague Nicole and I will be taking you through. So first up, how to access the Exhibitor Manual. Quite importantly, what is the Exhibitor Manual? Checklist and key deadlines. Official suppliers. Shelf scheme stands, where to start. And then a couple of points on space only stands. The first one, if you need any help building your stand and the second one on the stand check system. So the exhibitor manual can be accessed from within the exhibitor portal. At the top right hand side, you can see there we've uh, squared it in a green square on the home page of the WTM website, which of course is wtmlondon.com. You should have already received a welcome email to help you access the portal. But if you do have any problems, you can contact the customer service team on the email address that uh, I showed you earlier. Quick top tip, please be aware that some forms have very strict deadlines and can carry surcharges if not ordered by the date specified. So log in as soon as you can, 
so you can start to order the required services. Once you are within the Exhibitor Portal, you will need to scroll down a little on the page where you will then find the Exhibitor Manual. You can then click on this and this will take you to the home page of the manual itself. So you can see on your screen there the home page for the Exhibitor Manual. So this has been created as a guide for you for everything revolving around WTM London. So the manual consists of all the information that you may need in order to plan and prepare your participation at the event. So the manual covers all forms that you may need to order additional services such as electrics, furniture and floor coverings. The timetable of the exhibition itself, official suppliers contact details, rules and regulations as well as those health and safety guidelines and also venue and general information. On the left hand side you will find the tabs showing all the different sections of the manual. You can see there we've highlighted it with a red area. And this is where you should be able to navigate yourself around the manual. If you are, in a, if you are a space only exhibitor you may wish to give your contractor access to the manual. Please click on Add Additional Users. You can see it's right at the bottom of the panel with a red arrow and follow the instructions to add your contractor. Please also note that stand sharers do not have access to the manual. If you would like them to have access, you will need to add them. So please make sure you don't do duplicate orders and communicate them what you are ordering for them. So within the manual, we have created a section called Checklist, and you can see there we have helpfully highlighted it with the red arrow. On there, you can find all the forms you will need to complete the key deadlines. Please see a short summary of all of the key deadlines here. So you can see there at the top, the 5th of August, the stand plan submission, 9th of September, deadline for external catering or indigenous catering, 7th of October, on-site service submissions, including IT and communications, audio-visual equipment, and piped services. So make sure you complete the forms before the deadline date to avoid those surcharges that I mentioned. I will now pass you over to my colleague Nicole to talk you through the official suppliers and the shell scheme stands. Great, thanks a lot Paul. So within the manual you will find the list of official suppliers on the left hand side as you can see highlighted on the screen now. The suppliers are listed under different categories to make it easier for you to search for them. You will find their contact details under each supplier. We have also produced a list of all the official suppliers to help you build your stand and this can be found on the WTM guide tool at the bottom of your screen. So moving on to the shelf scheme stand exhibitors. As part of your package, you will receive the following. An overall frame, walls, ceiling, fascia, name board, and grey carpet. Freeman built the stands in the South Hall, and GES built the shell stands in the North Hall, so ensure you contact the right supplier should you need to. Please note that this year there is no name board form to submit. The company name you submit to use within the company profile of the exhibitor portal will be used as the name board. Please note a charge will be made for any alterations made on site. But if you want this to be different from your company name in the portal, then please contact the relevant supplier. You can order any additional items you may have or you may need from the exhibitor manual. We do have a combined furniture and electrical package available. This also has additional items you can add on such as floral and AV. It is a one-stop shop with just one invoice, so it's made really easy and it's ideal for you. The deadline for this is the 7th of October and you can contact your account manager at WTM to order this package. New for this year, we also have a shell scheme graphics package should you wish, wish to enhance your stand and entice visitors. More details can be found in the manual or you can contact your account manager. If you applied for a space only stand, you will need to find a stand builder. We can provide you with the solution to this by introducing Smart Space which is the stand design and build service provided by the organisers of World Travel Market. So they will take care of the construction, whether it be modular or bespoke, any graphic printing, any electrical installation and lighting, any audiovisual and internet services that you require, and any floral, furniture and sundry decoration. 
All orders are internal and they are a sole supplier with a single invoice. They have designs to suit your budget and you can contact them to talk about your specific requirements and they will create a design for you. They offer a no-hassle approach with no order forms to complete. You get given a single point of contact to make it easy. All the health and safety documents, plans and forms are submitted for you and all you need to do is turn up with your brochures and have a productive exhibition. You can contact the SmartSpace team for more information on the details shown on your screen now and they can be found within the exhibitor manual. Again, this information is only relevant to space only stands. Your stand plans will need to be submitted through the new read exhibition stand check system shown on the slide. This new system is an online tool which you and your contractor can access to upload stand plans, stand visuals, risk assessments and method statements. You are also able to obtain important show related information and see the status of your stand plan submission. You will need to set up your account and create a password. Please note that your username is your email address and once you have logged in you will be able to see all listed stands that you are associated to. To upload information, you will need to click on the relevant stand. If you have a stand contractor who is managing your stand build, then please ensure once you have logged into the system that you add them as a primary contact under the contact section. This will then send a link directly to them to access the online stand check system and they can therefore manage the upload of the information which comes straight to us. The stand check system is due to go live late July and we will be emailing instructions to you on how to use this. Once the system is live, this shows you how you go about submitting your stand plans. So on the taskbar, you need to go to Upload, and here you can upload stand plans, risk assessment, method statements, and any other documentation in relation to your stand plan. You need to insert a description of the file you are uploading, and if there is any specific information regarding the document, please put this in the message section. If you click on the status tab, it will take you to the status page which lists all the checks associated to your stand. It is all colour coded to make it really easy. So red means that there's not sufficient information received. Amber, more information is required. And green, the check has been completed and all the ne necessary information has been received. You will see the method statement as yellow as more information is required. The details of this will be shown underneath the check, i.e. method statement. You can then upload the documents by clicking on the Upload File button at the top of the page or sending the information in via email and putting the tracking number within the body of the email. The overall status of the stand is shown at the top and it will say Permission to Build. Once we are happy with this information received, this will then change from a No to a Yes. Please note, stand plan submission deadline is the 5th of August. If you wish to have catering on your stand, then this must be ordered through the venue's official suppliers, which is Leith. They will be more than happy to help and advise you on a wide range of options available to suit your requirements and budget, and the contact details can be found within the manual. If you want to use your own catering provider, you must apply for indigenous catering, and all applications in the first instance will be forwarded to the venue itself. Only leg legitimate catering companies will be considered. We recognise that in a few cases, an exhibitor may wish to bring indigenous products to the show. Only food approved under an indigenous application can be brought into the venue. Any products not on the approval letter from the exhibition organisers must be purchased through Excel directly. Please do remember that all catering applications need to be submitted by the 23rd of September. So I'm now going to pass you back over to Fiona, who will take you through the internet and Wi-Fi options. Thanks, Nicole. So moving on to Wi-Fi and internet access. Excel London offers free Wi-Fi across the venue. This Wi-Fi is a basic service across the public and event spaces. Once you register, you'll be able to get continuous free Wi-Fi. However, please bear in mind it's only suitable for checking emails and light web browsing. If you wish to have a more stable, secure and supported service, then please order additional services from Excel IT. They offer a wide range of communication services including internet, data networking, ISDN, all of which can be ordered for your stand. All orders must be placed by the 7th of October to receive the early bird discount. So now we have a section within the webinar where we'll answer questions that have been coming in during the webinar and we have some interesting ones that have come in so far. 
The first question I'll put to you, Paul. Do you have a partner hotel for WTM London that offers special rates to WTM attendees? We do. We started working with a company called Hotel Map. So you can access Hotel Map through the WTM website and we'll also be sending out an email very soon with a link, so keep an eye out for that. Great. And this next question, which is also related to travel, asks whether we can help with visa to travel from the UK for WTM. Well, a visa support letter can be requested at the time of registering a staff badge. This is a fully automated and a secure system. Please note that if you require a support letter, ask as early as possible. However, I do want to clarify that we don't help with the actual application itself. Nicole, here's a couple of questions for you. Firstly, are the opening hours different now that it's changed to a three-day event? Uh, yes, Fiona. So now it's going to be open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. And on the final day, we'll be rounding it off with the WTM festivals, which are taking place from 5 to 7 p.m. And they'll be setting the scene for some of the less formal networking and, and allowing exhibitors to show, showcase their destination or products. Um, so exhibitors can bring along their traditional food, drinks, dress, music, dance um, and cultural features. So it would be really fun. If um, an exhibitor would like to, get, uh, like to get involved with this or is interested in getting involved with this, then please do contact your account manager to dis discuss some of the ideas for this free opportunity. And the next one here is, are exhibitor hall hours different for visitors? Uh, yes, so the show opens for visitors at 10 o'clock or 10 a.m. each day. And the exhibitors will have access two hours uh, prior to the exhibition opening from Monday to Wednesday. And another question for you, Paul. Where is the organiser's office located on site? Well, we've actually got two organised offices on site. The first one is located in the South Hall, room S6, which is next to stand LA309. The other is located in the North Hall, which is room N5 and next to stand EU601. The organisers' offices will be clearly signposted, so please do not worry. You will be able to find them. Thanks, Paul. Here's a question on badging, so I'll take this one. Once the exhibitor badges are available, where do I go to download or print them? Well, you can do this via the exhibitor portal. You need to select Order Exhibitor Badges, then Register Name Badges, and then follow the instructions to either download or print them. Nicole, who should exhibitors contact for their name board? Okay, so um, your name board will be created by using the contact information from your online listing. Um, but please ensure that your name is spelled correctly and all details are up to date by the 6th of October. Great. And a couple of final questions for you, Paul. Are contractors allowed on site during the show opening hours? No, they are not allowed on site. Uh, contractors are only allowed on site during the build-up and breakdown of the event. You will need to register each individual contractor via the exhibitor portal. And lastly, can I store empty boxes behind my stand? No, definitely not. So please contact the official freight suppliers for any questions regarding storage. The details for them can be found in your exhibitor manual via, via the official suppliers section. Thanks for that, and please do continue to send in your questions. So now, moving on to the top tips. If there's anything you take away from this webinar, I would suggest you action the following points. And the top tips are, number one, submit your stand plans via the stand check system before the 5th of August. Two, apply for your show badges and your visas as early as possible. Three, apply before the 9th of September to get the discounted catering price. Four, submit your application for external or indigenous catering before the 23rd of September to avoid any surcharge. Five, order all your IT, AV and pipe services before the 7th of October. Remember, your best point of reference is the exhibitor manual. Use this as your first point of reference. And now, to let you know what's coming up during the year and how we intend to help you get organised and ready for WTM London. So our next webinar will take place on Tuesday the 6th of September at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And this webinar will focus on all the marketing and PR preparations for WTM 2016. Topics will include new initiatives, crucial deadlines, marketing opportunities, PR opportunities, my invitations and also targeted email service. 
Registration is now open for the September webinar, so please do have a look on our website. We will again be in touch with you by email to let you know all of the agenda. Well, thank you for your time today from all of us here at WTM London. If you have any questions after the webinar, then please send these through to our Customer Services Department. Their email is displayed on the screen. We'll be online for another 10 minutes or so, so if you have any questions that haven't been answered, please post them now, and our team of experts will endeavour to answer them now. Thanks again, and we look forward to welcoming you to the Marketing and PR webinar in September.